Today I have this uh, 540 10 scale motor. This is a Trackstar motor, so this was actually a special request. Uh, this is by Turnigy. So this one you can still find. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, it's definitely one of the least expensive options. Now, according to this, uh, you can read the specs here. Now I'm going to be testing it. So this is the 21, 21.5. So that's the voltage range. Uh, we're looking at RPM 13, 727. 727, that's a good number. Uh, let's see, uh, KV, we're looking at 1855, so 1855, and watts, amps. So we're gonna check that number. We're also gonna check the timing. So I will be uh, uh, switching the timing. So right now it is, in the neutral, so we will see. There's a few little marks in the back. Uh, it's on the large one. And then at the end, I'm gonna have a table where I compare it with a different 21.5 that I've tested before. So right now I'm gonna look at the timing. And we have average 16 degrees, 17, 17, and 14. All right, the first two phases are pretty good. The other one's a three. Uh, all right, so it comes pretty low timing. Uh, let's see what we have here. So I'm gonna go to the green, yellow, and then red. So 1603 was the highest that we got. Uh, now I'm gonna increase the timing and we're gonna do it all over again. And we have 32, so this is close enough to 30. So it's 33, 32, 31, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do KV now. So again, it'll be green, yellow, red. So 1780, 1781 is the highest KV. Uh, I'm gonna try to turn up the timing uh, a little farther. So that means that from the center line, it was about 16, now it's at about 33, and that's one, two, that's four marks later. So four marks, it's, four, four marks is a 15 degree difference approximately, well, more than 15. So each mark is four. Let's say 16, so each mark is four. Let's see if we can, so that means I am, the camera's probably not gonna be able to, be able to pick it up, but I am approximately three marks, that's about three marks, above the last mark on the cam. Now, let's go ahead and place this here. And I 
I like doing the timing first. Let's go ahead and do the timing. All right, 44 degrees. Let's see, 45, 44, 43. All right. Let's go KV. not bad that's over 2000 on that timing and uh, the amps were still pretty low so I think I can go ahead and bump this up slightly uh, actually, let's see I'm gonna try to actually hit maybe the five all right see at this point I'm, I'm really just guessing but let's see so let's go back, we'll do timing again. All right, 49 degrees, that's close enough to 50. So 50, 50, 48. Now let's do KV. All right, so say 2400, uh, and uh, the amps, they're pretty good. Uh, so that was close enough to 50, so that's as far as I'm gonna go with this motor. And now I'm gonna try to see if I can actually get, uh, well, I did about a 33. Uh, that's a little better. So it'll probably be uh, 30, 20. Yeah. All right, we'll go with that. So let's do KV. Right, so that was close enough to 30. Uh, so now to look at the data table and compare it with another 21 motor that I previously tested. Here's the Turnigy Trackstar 17.5 uh, turn. Now a quick little note, I didn't mention this previously, but in order to turn the bell to adjust the timing, you will have to loosen not only the three screws on the bell, but the three silver screws that hold the can together. Uh, they're just, everything's overly tight. So you will have to loosen those uh, just a bit. But here we have two other uh, motors, 21.5. We have a USGT, so this is a spec motor. And when I did the timing test, I got 29 degrees on it. Uh, the spread was 32, 25, 29. Not the best in the world. Uh, we had 
1,902 kVs. So that's what I'm going to be comparing with this 29, uh, this one right over here, uh, just the kVs. So as you can see, the USGT has a far better kV rating. Now, all right, the degrees goes 32, 25. So this is a horrible spread. This is much nicer. But even if I compare it to this one, which has a peak of 33, which is now more than that 32, it's still over 100 kV larger. Now, the battery, this was a different battery that I was using. This is an old Gen Ace. I no longer have that. This is a new, uh, actually, sorry, Team Powers. This is a new Team Powers, fully charged. Uh, one of the things that we do see is the difference in the amp consumption between the two. This is a 1.2 amp versus one amp. So this one is consuming less power. That explains uh, the KV. But if we look at the RPMs at 8.2 volts, we're looking at 14,605. This one we're looking at 14,639 at 7.7. .7. If we compensate for the voltage, uh, 8.2, we would be at 15,590. So we are 1,000 RPMs more, approximately. So if you take your final drive ratio, whatever it is, uh, you'd be able to calculate the speed difference. Assuming it's linear, it's not going to be perfectly linear. You can always take maybe 10% off, 15% to get an idea. But this is a faster motor. This is also a more expensive motor. Uh, if we look at the team powers, now this is the active Tinium V3. There is a V4 as of this video. It's The V4 has been out for a while now, at least a year uh, since this video. But uh, this is the one that we're using. So if we look at uh, 32 degrees, that's uh, right here, 32. So now we're going to be comparing this. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, 32. The amp consumption is 1.7. And we can see that in the KVs. So there is a massive difference in the KVs between them. Uh, 2,432, this team powers has more KVs. Even in the USGT, it has far more KV than this one. It is also more than double the price of this Trackstar. So as of the time of this video, you can, you, you cannot get this Trackstar motor by itself anymore unless you buy overstock. Uh, they used to be maybe about $55, no more than 60. Now you can buy them with the ESC. Uh, if you buy them with the ESC, they're just under 100 US as of the time of this video. The Team Powers motor by itself as of this the time of this video is going to be just over $100, maybe $110, $120, uh, but it's just over $100. So that is a major difference. Now, if we look at RPM, we're looking at eight, almost 19,000 RPM. This one is uh, just under 15,000 RPM. But if we compensate for the difference in voltage, uh, 8.2, uh, we would be looking at a significant difference. So this is this is a good motor for stock racing. Everybody's running the same thing, or a good motor for uh, running. Let's see. Well, uh, running something inexpensive uh, for less than the price of one motor. You're getting a motor in an ESC, and the ESC is it's not a bad ESC. I do prefer the Hobby Wing, but it's not a bad ESC. Uh, Hobby Wing has a better amp rating for the BEC. That's one of the reasons why. Uh, but again, it really depends on what you are doing. If your local track, most people use these, that's fine. Buddy of mine, as of the time of this video, is up in Canada, up where he's been racing. Uh, they love using Orca motors. Go figure. Uh, but those are things that you want to consider. How much are you willing to spend? Uh, to be honest, you may want to look into getting perhaps a Phantom Motor or a Trinity. Uh, my 17.5 and my Buggy is a Phantom Motor, and I've used uh, Trinity uh, 25.5, been very happy, as well as others. Uh, but 
I hope this information is useful. So if we go down the table, uh, let's look at, let's see, what would be 46? That's close enough to 44. You know, I'll just go ahead and compare the 49. Why not to the 46? Not fair. Oh, well. Uh, we're still over 2,000 kV for a difference. Now, a better comparison would be the following. If we compare the amp, the amp consumption, that would be better. So here we have 2.6. And here we have 2.6. So the team powers consumes 2.6 amps at 42 degrees versus 44. And if we look at the KV here, we're looking at 2,618 versus 2,048. RPM, just under 17,000 RPM here with less voltage, right? Old battery. Uh, we are looking at just over 20,000. So there is a large difference in kv as well as rpm then again you get what you pay for keep in mind that if you were to find this motor on its own it would be about half price of this one if not slightly under half price of this motor is it really worth it it really depends uh if you're doing 21.5 i can't really think of anything but let's just say you were doing maybe a mini class uh, Tamiya Mini, uh, you're running an M05, well, let's go with M07 or an 8, especially if you're doing the M08 with rear traction, you may want the Trackstar uh, and just bump the timing, and the reason why is uh, they're slightly smaller cars, they're almost like a 112 scale, and if you have too much torque, you're going to be spinning out, uh, unless you're very good at modulating throttle. But those are some of the things to keep in mind. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you have not, and uh, comment below. What are your thoughts? Have you had experience with these motors? What would you recommend? Until next time. Oh, 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 oh,